So today I'm going to be making a no yeast sandwich bread. I will make sure to link this um, recipe down in the description box down below. But I'd rather start off with a no yeast because I've never worked with yeast before. So I'm a little intimidated. So I'm going to try this recipe out and I'm going to take you step by step. The first thing I'm going to need is four cups of all-purpose flour. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. Let me move some stuff around. Firstly, you're going to preheat your oven to 375. And then it says four cups of all-purpose flour. for three tablespoons of baking powder. I don't even know if I have enough in here. You know what? Not a good idea. Not a good idea. You know what? Let's just start with the new one. Because I can get a right accuracy of it. So three tablespoons of baking soda. Two. Three calls for one fourth cup of regular sugar. Then it calls for if you're using kosher salt, it calls for one tablespoon but if you're using the regular table salt, it calls for one teaspoon of fine salt. So I'm going to use kosher salt. I'm use a tablespoon. Okay. And then I'm going to mix this up and then I will be back to show you the wet ingredients. So it calls for two and a half cups of milk. So and it also says to put your milk in the um, microwave for about 15, 20 seconds, and that's what I did. And it also calls for one cup of vegetable oil, but you can use whatever oil that you have on hand. And I'm just gonna use avocado oil. And I'm gonna use one fourth. And I'm going to mix my avocado oil in with my milk. I'm gonna do it that way. And then this is two cups of milk. So I'm gonna pour that in there. And I watched the video and it's, the lady said that it's going to be like a smooth um, batter type of bread. So I'm gonna put this in the mixing bowl. Let's turn the camera around so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to pulse this a little bit. Get this so it doesn't splatter everywhere. Now I'm going to turn it up and then I am supposed to beat this for about 30 seconds. And the recipe says it's going to be a very sticky dough. So this is the way it is supposed to look like. So I'm just trying to grab, get all that off this paddle here. I'm not trying to have nothing go to waste. And take this off. And so it is supposed to look like this, like a very sticky dough. And I'm just trying to make sure everything is mixed together. I don't want to keep messing with it because, you know, of the gluten. I don't want to activate that too much. 
And again, don't come for me. This is my first time making this. Oh, so I'm going to put it in my pan. It calls for a nine and a 9.5 pan, nine and a half pan or whatever. This is all I have, so I have to go with what I have. Try to get everything out, and I did line. I don't know if I told you at the beginning, I did line my pan with cooking spray. You can do cooking spray, or you can do um, oil and flour, and then I put a parchment paper because then it'll be easier for me to remove it. And then all you do is just spread it around. Make it even, and then it's gonna go in the oven for about, it says, I'm looking at the directions, about 40 to 50 minutes. Sorry if you heard my dryer go off. And then I'm going to put this in the oven. So this is what it looks like when it's out the oven, I cooked mine on 375 for 40 minutes. Then I actually took at the 40 minute mark, I checked it and then I put it in there for additional like seven minutes and I covered it with foil. So now I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes and then I'm going to put it on the cooling rack and let it cool for like a couple of hours. So this is what the bread looks like. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of it so I can show you what it looks like. Ooh, I don't know how thick or thin to cut it. So let's... Oh, wow. That looks very nice and flaky. So I'm going to do one more. I mean, I really need to let it cool like a lot. But I just wanted to show you guys on camera what it actually looks like. So you can use this bread for toast, French toast. It's still kind of warm. So once I put it in a refrigerator and let it cool in the fridge overnight, I think it'll be better once I cut it. So how I'm going to store it, I'm just going to wrap it with some saran wrap and some foil. You can leave this out, um, out on your cabinet, but... Maybe, maybe about a couple days. I wouldn't go any longer than that. And if you live in a humid, a humidity of climate, then I wouldn't. I would store it in the fridge just because of the moisture because it can go, it can get mold quicker. So let's taste this. Oh, it's really good, you guys. It's very fluffy. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. So yeah. This is the bread. I will make sure to leave the recipe down in the description box down below. And thanks for watching and catch you next time. Bye.